job. Right. Time's moving on. Okay. All right, we're talking about 14 and a half minutes now, guys. Phil, now, yes, what's happening oh, here? Oh, look. What do you Love want me to do now? That's right. cooking down beautifully. And that's perfect on the lovely. And what have we got in the middle there, Phil? Is that the cheese? Stilton, yes. onions, and we'll put some breadcrumbs in, but I think we might delete that. Yeah. Now. Okay, so that's all, all, yep. all round there. Have a look at that. There it is. Stilton and onion. Is it, yeah. how, what's the quantity there? Was it all that Stilton that you had? Hey, all that Stilton, which wow. is about 100 grams. Mind you, this will be two people, you see. Right, it's okay. Okay. So there's lots of real sort uh, of a right, so next cheesy thing, pocket, you might call thing, that. Next thing, next thing I want you to do is to chop me some chives please as long as skinny things here you go That's have it. i have i got to wash up like i do at home <laughs> no, you right. might well have to does she get you to yeah. do all sorts of things oh at home? she does yeah yeah got to do all the washing up really. does it drive you up the wall are you quite happy because a lot of people find it kind of like therapeutic isn't they? nice and relaxed doing a washing up and it's lovely because i can it's an excuse to have a glass of wine, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> strange, a bit strange enough, I'm just a bit of going to get in a minute. You sound like my wife. Yeah. Because Phil's a bit dry there, I can mm. tell. Oh, lovely. Now, you once played at uh, Buckingham Palace, I hear. We did, was yes. That, was that also a bit of a, a highlight of your career? Or? It was by royal appointment, that was. Oh, really? And we were actually playing at a big charity function there for uh, the late the Anne Shelton. Uh -huh. She invited us to that. And we come off stage shouting the odds at our sound engineer because during the last song mm -hmm. our sound went down which is horrible on stage when you're trying to build it a crescendo our sound went down and he said it's not my fault he said there was a message came down from Buck Buckingham Palace to say Please turn the noise down. Oh, Not the music, yeah. the noise. It was just too, too much. <laughs> that was that going yeah. on. Oh, what? Yeah. It didn't stop you though, did it? I bet no. you guys were just because it's rock and roll, it's isn't it? it? Rock and roll. Uh, but when you st when you joined the world, did you think that you were joining a band that were going to play lots of lots of country music, or do you think you were joining a real rock and roll outfit? I'd never heard of them actually when I joined. I joined them in 60, 1967 as a backing musician, and um, I'd just come back from working on cruise liners. Yeah. It was. Uh, white suits, inner suits, oh yeah, all the flash gear. And I came down thinking this is what I was going to join, and I got handed this clobber here, yeah, same, exactly the same, and told to go and change in a war bunker because we were playing outside function, <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so, oh. and you ended up singing about tractors and stuff like yeah, that, and yeah. dung, and this <laughs> 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 is lovely in the kitchen, isn't it? When you think oh, about it, oh, yeah. it don't matter. <laughs> Phil, okay. I need a job. Lovely. Yeah, he's got your chives. Where do you want your chives, Phil? Uh, chives can go straight into, into that, that batter, mixture. please. Yeah. Straight into there. Straight into I think we're making some uh, peas. All right, quick update. Right. What are we making I'm making here, churros then? here, which yeah, is a bit almost awkward. Spanish churros. How's that spelled? C U H C H U R R O or U S. Okay, Okay, churros. basically, it's a mixture uh, made cool, with um, just flour and water and mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. And you pipe mm -hmm. it out and cook it. In northern Spain, they eat them very sweet. Cool. Basically deep fried, a bit like... Um, a bit like a, uh, a beignet type idea. Yeah. But in the south, they actually uh, mix it with salt and then dip it in something sweet. Need a job, Phil. It's basically it's a sweet. Okay. A Quite little sir. sweet donut. That's basically what it is. Right, big it? man. What I want you to do is. All right. Yeah. Your opportunity to do a bit of cooking there now. Go, now, be careful of that because it's very hot. So one mm. spoon at a time. Okay. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Cook them for a couple of minutes. Turn them over. Turn them yeah. over. Find that pan because that's oh, very like good. That. Okay. No, 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 no. no. I'll, oh. I'll, I'll put it over here for you. How about that? Is that yeah, a little bit easier yeah, for you? Yeah, get that, that sugar out of the way. Fantastic. There oh. you go. Now, yeah, and go, these are little. Go fret potatoes. Yeah. Which are basically um, cut one way on the mandolin, then cut the other way, and end up all nice and crispy. All right. And okay. you just sort of fry those off and you get those little holes in there. Yep, you that get the holes. So sweet. That's oh. perfect. Doing a great job there. Looking okay, good. Sir. All right, now, what's happening here, Tony? Right. Yes. Right. Got to get me uh, egg whites going. All right. Yeah, switch that on, and away we go. Right, and one of the egg whites, that's going to be folded into this mixture. Yeah, what I've done is I've brought some double cream up to the boil, mm -hmm. crinkled in my Stilton, yeah. a little bit of salt and pepper, egg yolks, Three egg yolks, three whites in there. I'm going to fold two together, put it in a pan, and cook it off. Fantastic, lovely. And what's that? Is that a traditional kind of a classic dish? It's going to be a pan-fried souffle. A pan-fried oh, souffle. Fantastic. A okay, halfway now, guys. Now, Pete. Now. There we are. We've heard all about these classic numbers, but we wouldn't mind uh, you performing one for us. You, you, can you do that? Yeah. Yeah. Would you really? You'd like yeah. the song? We'd yeah. like, we'd like a song, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 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 Oh, of course we would. Oh, Come on then, yeah. Come on in. You want, you want your old mate down here? Yeah, I've got a song with a penny on. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to get your mate over here? Ready, hold.
What do you want, A Forest? Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Ready Steady Cook, the Wazzle! Hey! hey. Yes. Where's your instrument? Just one eight repair down later on. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sing, folks? You sing? Clap your hands and sing. Orchestra. <laughs> I am a cider drinker, I drink it all of the day, I am a cider drinker, it soon all me troubles away, ooh ah ooh ah ray, ooh ah ooh ah ray, let cider be the spice of love, come on Joe, hey, oh yeah, yeah let's hear it for our boys then, come on here. Fantastic, eh? And uh, do, do you actually sing at home then? Do you, do you actually practice your songs at home or what? I'm not supposed to, but yeah. I do. Yeah, I do. I never sing in the bath. I sing in the kitchen, if <laughs> you know. Yeah. And, and what, not, what's I'm up? So, come on, let's get back. Go on, you've got to get back to your pancakes. Oh, don't you yeah, start hey, there? Get on. All right, then, come on. And uh, what type of things do you sing in the uh, kitchen? Anything that comes to mind, really. Uh, can you a bit of opera or something uh, like that? Yeah, whatever comes out. Yeah, because I mean, you can never tell. You know, some of us kind of, they expect a kind of a soul singer or a country <coughs> singer to sing that. You just sing true. what comes to mind. If the onion's around, I sing a bit of Italian or something like that. Oh, you know, yeah, pasta exactly. Pasta and all that Yeah, you get a bit, yeah. bit passionate. All right, speaking of onions, what do you dip yours in here, Tony? In a bit of uh, flour. Yeah. And then a batter which we've made with just some sparkling water and some flour, a little bit of salt. And that's, uh, that yeah. recipe was given to me by a, a chap yeah. called uh, Rick oh, Stein. Right, Come on, Pete, we'll get Ooh. you, we'll you organised something. Right now, and what have you got for Pete to do now? Right, I'm not sure yet. Wash it up. Yeah, he probably, yeah. yeah, probably will get you to do a bit I'm of washing up. What we're going to do right, is... Then, and that fat is much hotter now, isn't it, Tony? Yeah. So, that's gonna uh, so you see, I've taken the chips out. The mm -hmm. chips are cooked, but there's no colour. Right, so oh, take those out. French fries, that, is, it? Yeah. is that what we call them? That fat's going to heat right up. French fries. Yeah, that's going to be absolutely fantastic. got wine here, too. All right, then. Fantastic. Yeah, drink some wine. Feel comfortable. I'll come back and see in a moment. All right, look at you in your uh, pea. Look at this. Yeah, pea pancakes. Lovely that's looking good. In you go, mate. All right, and this, this, this is your lovely chocolate sauce yeah, here, Phil. I'll tell you quickly about this chocolate sauce. This is a fat free chocolate sauce. Yeah. Until I put olive oil in it. But mm -hmm. it sounds really, it sounds really <laughs> and weird. And why? Why did you put olive oil because in there? Because I was in Milan oh, about mm -hmm. a year ago. And I had a chocolate souffle yeah. that had olive oil, extra virgin olive oil put into it rather than butter. And it tasted absolutely fantastic. It really did taste wonderful. What is it? Just richer or what? It's richer, it's a wonderful yeah. perfume to it. Yeah. And, and the warmth seems to just boil it all, yeah. sort of bring all the flavor, natural flavours out. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do, Phil? Uh, actually, keep going on those fritters more. for me. Oh, yep. wow. He's got to cook more fritters. Yeah, empty that pan out here then, Tommy. A little bit more of the old right. oil in there. Oh, Thank you. you. That's OK, mate. Could you think you've done this show before? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone would have thought so, wouldn't they? <laughs> Right, brilliant. So you're talking about lots of uh, cocoa powder. What are the quantities here? Three ounces of cocoa, three ounces of sugar, half a pint of water. Okay. And about a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And, and you do let that sort of bring up, bring it yep. up to the boil and let it reduce let down. Let it reduce down. And what you can also do is add a little bit, if you want to, but it'll touch mm -hmm. uh, either cream at the last second or butter. Yeah. Gives it a really nice glaze. But trust me, yeah. olive oil it works really well. Fantastic. Okay, six okay. minutes to go. Now you were over in Belize touring with your mates over there, Pete. What happened to him? Huh. Disaster there really is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who we were, were you performing for? Was it we the troops? Performing for the troops in yeah. the jungle. And uh, we went out to one of the keys in the uh, Gulf of Mexico there. Uh -huh. And Pete, he's not used to sunbathing. If you saw the colour of his legs, you'd, you'd see why. He's <laughs> never sunbathed. And he was standing in six inches of water for most of the day, chatting away, yeah. thinking he wasn't getting burned because he was well covered up, his top and everything else. And he got his feet burned, yeah. and he ended up with third degree burns. And he was getting carried on to the stage every night. <laughs> yeah, because he realised so how bad. painful that is, though, Tommy. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's so bad. Yeah. But then, so what he had to get, because he only wears size sevens, and he yeah. bandages. So one of the soldiers gave him size twelves, gave him a loan of a trainer. So he did this trainer on. Four years later, mm -hmm. we were actually working at yeah. the, the Wiltshire show. Pete got a tap on the shoulder when we were at the bar, and this big guy is about six foot six. Says, "Here, you've got my trainers with you." <laughs> <laughs> All those years later. Years later, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now look at this. Do we need some this more of these, Phil. Uh, yeah, keep going, big man. Yeah, 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 I think you want you to cook Ooh, the whole, the whole lot. There. Phil, why the tomato ketchup I in here? I just want to give it a really nice edge, Ainsley. That's what I'm trying to do. A really rich, rich edge. Yeah. And I, almost like a relish. I've got vinegar in there as well. Yeah. A touch of water. So and that's, get, that's your kind of chutney or your relish it's that you're relish referring to. It's a relish to go to. underneath all Excuse me, yeah. sir, could you yeah. get an elbow out of my pan, No, oh, I'm sorry about <laughs> that. 
Tommy, and you, I saw you at the corner of my eye, you were piping that. Was yeah. that the, uh, what do you refer to it as? Churros. Churros. Yeah. Churros. 